what's the crack lads it's a good job i'm off work today because we have finally got official information i've literally just recorded a video and put that up we're off all this week we're going to be covering every bit of content to keep you guys up to date they've tweeted out official first details for eFootball with a brand new tread on twitter or x the new eFootball season kicks off this week here is some of the info coming on the 12th of september brand new leo messi graphic he looks happy <laughs> hopefully will be this happy on the 12th or the 11th on the live stream, that was the video I covered earlier, but we do have official news here from the official Konami account, right? So the first thing they talk about here is the offline mode trial match. It's going to be renamed Exhibition, and you will now be able to play with all the clubs and national teams available in the game, offline in the trial match, it's going to be just called Exhibition. Not only that, the match settings, such as match level, match time, can now be changed to your liking, and there's a couple of little bits and pieces here of the updated version of the game. Now, it's shown on mobile here, and it shows you exhibition, right? So what this basically means is, if you go now, currently to trial match here, and you just want to play against the buddy, or you just want to play against the AI, you can only currently, as of right now, pick the licensed teams, right? As you see here, and a couple of teams that were licensed at the start of eFootball 23 or 4, but you can pick, say, the likes of Manchester City. You can only pick these two. So you couldn't play against your buddy sitting on the couch, City versus Real Madrid, even offline. They're going to be opening that up into being able to use all those teams now, licensed or unlicensed. And of course, we're also going to be getting the national teams, right? They also talk about the option to choose weather types. Rainy, snow will also become available in the mobile version. You can enjoy matches in various situations, such as my league, exhibition, and matches against your friends on mobile, okay? So they do talk about this. Now, this is going to be what we discuss in the live stream, right? This has kind of caused a lot of concern. There was a couple of leaks about it, a couple of people asking me about it. What I was told was, was that it was going to be more kind of like, um, yeah, I'll try to explain it in the live stream from what my understanding of it is. So if you guys want more details on this smart assist, as they're calling it, which, listen, this reading here in black and white is very worrisome for a console player, okay? The less, we don't want any automatic control, man. If I miss a shot or I take a shot, I want it to be my mistakes that cost me a goal or my, you know, like actual skill gap in the game, being able to like, win me matches and create opportunities i think the chance creation at the moment is way too assisted but i will try and kind of like yeah i'll try and like tell you what i was told about this or how it's going to function right so if you guys want more details on that i don't want to go into it in like a 10 minute video discussing it and showing examples and stuff so we will cover that in the live stream but they talk about a trial version of a new control type smart assist is going to be implemented this will support you during a match by automatically which i do not like controlling certain aspects for you such as shot power and dribbling direction now yeah as i said i'll talk about it at the moment you can switch between you know manual skill feints and automatic skill feints i think this reads worse than it actually will be on the pitch but again i mean this is a big worry i think as a console gamer and even as a mobile gamer you know it's not just that you guys want an automatic game i understand that but this is a this is a worry man this is a worry we've so much automatic stuff in the game as it is I mean, I don't want the game playing for me. If I wanted to do that, I would play football manager. I want to be in control of the players and how I'm doing them. And different players have different things going on, okay? We'll get into that. Anyway, we do also get information on a brand new ambassador edition. I touched on that in the last video, if you guys missed that video. But there's going to be an ambassador edition here, which will be available in standard and deluxe editions. And we'll get a look at the graphics here in a second. This special set includes highlight players, Messi and Neymar, as you see here. So you've got Messi and Neymar. These are the players. We'll get through these in a second. We'll have a better uh, quality picture of it. But they also say that there's going to be in-game training items. And that's it, man. That's basically all that they've said so far with it, right? Now, I'm going to get over here to the actual graphics, right? Um, and just hide my webcam a second. This is the full graphic. You've got the Neymar and the Leo Messi edition. Messi edition and Neymar edition. They're both going to come, in my opinion. I think that they're probably going to be... Let me see, right? You're going to be... They don't have a price here, right? But there is going to be two different editions of them. The Leo Messi edition comes with Leo Messi from the Barcelona 0506 season as an in-game epic. You're also going to have 10 highlight in-game players that are going to be teammates of his or previous teammates of his. 450 eFootball coins and an in-game strip with 22 by 4,000 Trainer X programs, right? Also, both editions are going to come with standard editions and deluxe editions. You've got Neymar Junior Edition, uh, 25 Deluxe, which is going to be coming with Epic Neymar Brazil 2014, as you can see there with his blonde bleached hair. And you've also got the standard edition that are on the screen there. So pretty much the same. Um, I would probably say that these are going to be probably about maybe 1,500, 2,000 coins, or else maybe about like 20, 25 quid. I don't know. 
Um, but whether or not that's, you know, you're going to be getting a guaranteed player, I suppose. So again, we will discuss that a little bit more on the live stream as well. But listen, boys, it's finally that we've got some official information. This is the big worry on this, uh, what they've written here, um, a trial version of the new control type. We're going to get into that a little bit more detail. From what I've told, it's just going to be kind of like tightening up certain aspects of the gameplay. Now, whether or not that actually works, there's one thing actually planning to work something. I mean... The AI at the moment is at its, in my opinion, it's at its mo it's at its worst at the at the moment. Um, I can't even predict how it could get worse in terms of like the hand holding and in terms of the cover and the space and all that just being so incredibly difficult to break down unless you're like able to control the the game yourself. You can still beat the AI, but a lot of matches at the moment in the last couple of weeks, I felt like I'm not even playing somebody. I feel like I'm playing against a really dynamic difficulty a total like adjusted um like legend ai experience in master league where i'm trying to win the, the cup like where it's like literally impossible um because the ai is just covering every single weak gap that the opponent is leaving manually so that is probably the big thing to take out of this but we will be streaming in a little bit we'll discuss everything i'm off all this week it's going to be hopefully a good week hope you guys are enjoying the video smash that like button Smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the live stream in just a little bit. We're going to be testing out our brand new stream setup as well. If you guys want to see that, I'll catch you in a bit. 